So this right here is the fire box. That's the fire box. Okay. What what do you what do you generally put in it? I like uh, I like uh, lump charcoal, mm -hmm. uh, and then I like uh, hickory chunks mm -hmm. or whatever you know for pork, sweet wood. Okay. Fruit what wood. what do you what do you call this? Does, um, it, does it have a name? It uh, actually does not have a name. <laughs> um, it's just. I guess it's officially known as the train. The train. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah. What's the? What's the, how high does the temps get? However high you want, or yeah, I could place it up to about. I don't know. I could probably get 325 on it if I really wanted to push hard. Okay. But that's you know that's so there's no it. doing pizzas or anything on this, right? No, not in this guy. No, it's, no, it's, yeah. it's got such a large surface on the, uh, you know where the. On the cooking chamber, it down gets underneath and, and and works to the end of the train. It's dissipated. It's lost the most you know, of it. This, yeah. this fire, you know, I've I've used an infrared camera uh -huh. on this, which I which I own, and this fire fires burn at around 550 degrees, which is you know important stuff to know. Oh yeah, and and the, especially when you're buying paint, you know, you need to. Look for thousand, two thousand degree paint in this vicinity, right, which, right, right. which I did. This is high temp paint, and and but by the time it gets down to the end, you know we're shooting about up there, maybe anywhere from maybe a hundred ninety to two hundred degrees. So so where where is your loss mainly occurring? Right here at the box, or well, it, or during the path? It, it literally it starts losing heat as soon as it gets under the locomotive, and it's just through. It's just heat traveling through the, the engine itself. Okay. All, all of this stuff works to suck heat out of the out, out, out of that path, you know. Okay. Which is what you know, which is what we're looking for in slow cook barbecue. You know, we want to dissipate some heat. Right, 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 so right. right. That, that it works good. Otherwise you'd be grilling. We'd be grilling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Come on, because as an art project, as I'm an artist, uh, okay. I do metal sculpture, okay. and, and I have to have two stainless steel liquid oxygen tanks. And, and you know, I was going to build a water fountain out of this, I build several things. Right. You know, it's been so, many, so long, I probably saw a, 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 a cook off show or something on, on, on the food network. And then I started thinking about building a pig out of it. And, you know, that just didn't. Or, or, a, or a bottle of whiskey or something, that's where it started. I saw uh, great scenic railroads uh, on PBS. Okay. That's, that's when the two came together. Ooh. So I, I drew it up on my bottom cap. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. So when you, you drew this up on AutoCAD? Yeah, just to get it, just to work out the scale, which it changed, but it gave me a starting point. You know, four foot six heat to the from there to there, and you know uh, how I was going to tie the plumbing all together, right? All the ducting, you know, and, and how it was going to look, and uh, trying, you know, build a scale. I mean, never having built a smoker ever or a train, you know, it's, you know, I just, <laughs> it's, you know, you, you had to see it on paper, and so I had a profile that was somewhat. Do you work off a template at all? No, actually, you know, this thing was, you know, once I had a concept for the guy, uh, about the only templates I made were for the wheels to, to cut out, you know, the, the spokes. Right. And and also to give it, you know, to, to, to work scale. So I cut out all these wooden templates and I mounted them up against the train just to get scale on the guy. You know, I, I, I you know, it's important to, not have them oversized or undersized, and so those are the only templates I work with. Other than that, you know, it's stick built. I mean, put it on the floor, start framing it around the around the you know the fire, the smoke chamber, the, right. the chamber, and, and then kind of backing into you know putting a piece of metal up there and standing back and you know eyeballing it, right. and, and that's that's how it's built. Mm -hmm. uh, So and this is the stack here. Yeah. How, how does the stack work? Can you close it off? I can, but I never do. That's closed. 
just like a butterfly gate up in there. Right, yeah. But I've just never used it, you know? It's just... Just leave I, it open? Yeah. And, and so, yeah. It, and where and, and where again do you store this thing? I, I actually put it in my front yard. Um, <laughs> you know, I kind of thought that was kind of a goofy thing to do. Uh -huh. um, and, uh, you know, my neighbors are accustomed to seeing large metal sculptures show up, you know? And, and they enjoy my work for the most part. But this is kind of unique, and, and you don't know how people are going to react to some goofy neighbor pulling in with a giant smoker like this. And so they, you know, I, I, I brought it home. I, I explained to them what was coming. I said, well, you, I can't explain it. You just got to see it. And I pulled it in, and I and I and they saw this train on the trailer. And a lot of people think it's a toy ride, like a kitty ride. And they uh, they loved it. And they said, I said, well, I'm gonna I'm gonna get it into the backyard somehow. And they said, don't put it in the backyard. We'll just park it right there. We're good with it. Uh, and I and so I essentially I built some train tracks that go with it, and I can back it off and set it on the train tracks. It's pretty cool. And the, you know it's 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 well received by my neighborhood. This year we decorated for Christmas and we won first prize in our community for the Christmas decoration. So we 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 we're always we have a lot of fun with it. Um, it. That's the best part about it. You know, if we were out here cooking, we would never get to talk to half the people we do. They just would walk right by us. But this is between this and that crazy spider over there, it's a good conversation piece. Now, what, what lines this uh, chamber? What is this that this mark is, that's... This is literally just a, a single one eighth piece of uh, uh, stainless steel. That's all it is. It's, uh, and that's part, partially why it loses so much heat as the, as the heat comes down. It's kind of gr grimy now, so it's hard to explain, but there's, there's tuning plates along the bottom of it to help duck the heat and bring it out evenly to this side of the train. So. The, the, the heat comes out underneath from, from down there. There's a, a part of the tank, one of the two tanks is cut to fit in there, it, and it pushes the heat out this way. I can open them up, so if I want to let more heat out up here in, in this part of the cooker, I can. Mm -hmm. and the smoke and the heat will back up like this in there, and uh, you know that, that just, just helps me control it. And I can, I can again, with the, you know, having a, uh, an infrared camera helps is you know fine that tune it, most right? people don't have you know oh uh, yeah they're like over thousand dollars themselves this, this right? one's about three grand it yeah. belongs to, to my company yeah yeah to the company i work for that helps are these just decorative yeah they're you know the fun thing about this train was you know i work for a large general contractor and Every, you know, not all of it, but a, a, a great deal of this train are parts off of jobs. I, 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 I work in Washington, D.C. So, like, these aluminum plates here were left over uh, at expansion joints, covers, at the Washington, D.C. Convention Center. This stainless steel up here is, are, were, uh, they were addresses that we got braille. Braille up here that were, were were ordered incorrectly, and so they had a stack of them. And, and the guys at the jobs knew I was building the thing, so they'd say, "John, come on over. I got, I've got a stack of stainless steel, or I got plates of aluminum, or I got heavy steel plates that I line that the firebox with. It has half-inch steel plate all the way around it. And this is, you know, the light was off of a." Top of a two hundred million dollar condominium project we built, you know, it was, there was five of them. You know, I'm a building superintendent. Went out to the, to throw them all away, and I just started pulling all the stainless and the lights, and I just I, I pulled it all out. Of, you know, some of it I bought. You know, what uh, what gauge metal was the chamber? Uh, you know, I don't know what gauge it is. It's uh -huh. just, uh, but it's it's one eighth inch thick. Okay. I mean, it, it was. That was the hardest part was was pulling it apart and welding it back together. It was a it was a ton of work. Yeah, this this was the inner part of the tank. The, the tank actually had a, 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 a an in, insulation lining in it, and it had an inner tank that stored the liquid oxygen. And it and and so I pulled that 
the outer, the inner tank out, use that for the firebox, right. and then cut one of them up and, and made sort of like orange peel slices, if you can imagine, and, and welded the seams together. Gotcha. My wife and I, you know, we, you know this is this is a straight piece of stainless that, we, that somebody again gave us when we, when we took off the job site we were working on. You know, okay. wheels, you know, that's all, it's all hand forged. Right. But this is, this is part of an emergency generator, actually. A, a building engineer knew I was building this thing, and he, you know, he was a cu customer of ours, really. And he just gave me the, the, the these uh, exhaust pipes from an emergency generator. So people were bringing me stuff and helping me build this thing. It was uh, somewhat of a community effort, huh? <laughs> well, kind of like the, the, the barbecue equivalent of stone soup, you know, if you've heard the story. You know, as people bringing me stuff, they right. knew, you know, as I'd show them pictures on my phone or something, check out how the, my smoker's coming, you know. And, and as it was taking shape, people were really starting to give me stuff, so. Awesome. Some of it I had to buy. I had to buy. Now, the, the, the wheels, uh, do they, like, actually work? Yeah. Um, they're, they're not... There was some design compromise, you know, like when I made the wheels, I I, I, I I submitted drawings to a company that uses water to cut steel plate. It's called water jetting. And I, I had I had hubs made and I was getting axles made up for the thing. And that was like two grand. And I was like, okay, that, that, you know, I, I really can't do the paint on this thing. Thousand bucks. So you, you just you couldn't, you know. At some point, it was a compromise. And now, it's, okay, it might stay on the trailer, but I may need to get it off the trailer. So we we made up. We just took pipe and lined it. So I mean, they work, but they're you know they're not, they're not tight enough to really roll. And and I was going to try and make a, a steerable bogey on the front, and never. That just was too complex. So right, right, right. It, it, I can roll it off on the train tracks and then uh, and then load it up if I want to if I need to use a trailer for something but they're they're not really made to I wouldn't roll it around here you know they're not that's why they're raised up too so yeah they're raised up so that the it's 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 cabled down to the trailer so it doesn't bounce and move around and shake so. gotcha. And what's the name of your uh, barbecue team again? Uh, it's uh, Fat Maxine's Barbecue. Say it one more time, I'm sorry. Uh, Fat Maxine's Barbecue. Fat Maxine. Yeah, that's, oh, right. a, that's my friend's Dalmatian was Maxine and she was fat. I'm not, I'm not Maxine. I'm John. I was hoping neither was your wife. Uh, no. <laughs> no, my wife's skinny Maria. <laughs> no. Okay, thanks uh, a lot. I appreciate yeah, it. We had John. a good time. Thank you. And, 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 and good luck. Luck doesn't have nothing to do with it. We're some of our stuff is downright embarrassing. So yeah, well, I did I did get to uh, see your chicken when you pulled it off. That was awesome. It looked good. It looked good. All, all, all you had to do was taste good. All I can well, speak for is appearance. Plan. Plan. Oh really? Yeah. Oh well. We made up for it like putting our ribs next to Hey, our pork butt man was pretty good though. Pork butt was good.